Good morning. Yes, it's still morning. <laughs> Good morning at Penny's place. Uh, a slight change of tactics this morning. Um, I've, I've gone back to another great love of mine, shells. Uh, I was rooting for something else. Um, I came across this project that I started, went halfway and didn't finish it. So I thought, I'll finish it this morning and maybe you'd like to join me on how I go about it. Um, I've started already. Uh, well, one, one, well, one of these anyway was already done. So I went and found my shells. I want them this size, which they're very small, I know, but it's for a small project. And this one just measures uh, three and a half centimetres by almost four. So it's one of them tiny, like, clam shells, aren't they? Lovely back as well. So, what I'm doing is filling them. So, I've got all my little bits and pieces out. As you can see, tiny shells and beads and things. I've got a little handful of scrap lace. Tried to pick out the pink and white because that's the um, colour of this project. Um, some little flowers. Uh, more bits of lace there. Uh, the glue. Some roses there. That flower's too big. Um, and gems, as I say. And I've got some plasticky type gems in there as well. So, let's get on with it. Um, I found this as well. This is a gem I must have been sewing around for some project and it didn't get used. So some of it's come undone, but that doesn't matter. It can be used up in something like this. So I'm just going to finish this off. Now, a lot of the times I'll use um, E6000 just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But I'm going to use uh, my glue gun for quickness, but I'll go over them after and if I find anything a bit loose, I'll um, reinforce it. But if I'm on film, it, it's too long to, you know, for it to um, go off or whatever they say. So, I've already secure, um, picked a little rose for this one. That's just going in there. Okay. So, it's just um, how you want it. I mean, these I did. A totally different colour um, but these have got mainly like Indian type ribbons and uh, beautiful turquoise gems a little that's from a bracelet a broken bracelet a uh, little turquoise bead and what have you and that was the back of it but on this project I'm not going to see the back anyway so um, you know it's the front that's more important this one's another half finished one but you can see how I started off just a piece of ribbon uh, along there and I've started off putting little gems in and I've cut a piece uh, to go up here to just make that slightly higher so that will get finished but I must say I'm on the pink ones so we'll take um, an empty one and I usually start off with a little bit of uh, lace of some kind um, this is quite nice. This is a, an old hanky that I've, uh, I think I was going to embroider it and then I dyed it and it's gone in the scrap bin, hasn't it? Let's see, that might do. But I did embroider these, but I think the, it run as well on this. But you can still use like the individual, you know, roses. I might use one of them in it. But for the back, I think I'm going to go along with this. Okay, so we'll just tip that off that bit. Measure up where we want and it just gives it a little bit of height to the back of the shell there. I'm hoping I'm going to be as in, um, in frame as I'm meant to be. It's beautiful here this morning. Arthur's tending his tomatoes, uh, you know, cutting back the the extra bits you don't need, and doing a bit of tidying up again. 
uh, and then she's going to come in and make dinner, I hope. <laughs> I don't think we'll be eating anything heavy today. It's, uh, it's very warm. So that's that piece there. So I'm glancing around to see what else I've done with the others. Um, I still want something on the front there. Now I did see these. It's, it's quite a long fringe, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit too long that, but I quite like the, um, you know, the this part here, which has got lots of nice pink in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop them off. They'll most probably come in handy for clusters or something else. Or adding one or two of these to it. But cut it down for now. Now I don't know if I'm going to put it that way. Or let her bring it that way. Let's have a look. Um, 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 um. I think I'll have it that way actually. And I might add one or two longer things to it or should I? I've got another piece of that. Uh, no. So you're going to have to use that on now. Right. Let's put that there. And we'll just put that along the edge. Like so. That's my um, blue gun gone for a Burton. I don't know why it says for a Burton, where that saying comes from. Maybe gone. There you go. I'm getting tangled up in the rubbish on the floor and in the bin. Anyway. Right. Mr. Pitt must have eaten something strange outside this morning or he had a bit of a poorly tummy this morning again. I don't know what he was up to. But we clean up after them, don't we? And we let them carry on. So that's that as far as that. It's not very good at the moment, but it will do, it will do, I promise. So that's that, and I want to pick a nice flower. Oh, we've got acrylic ones here. That's a blue one. Um, I have to have these. These are nice. And I quite like these carla bit. Wait a minute. How about one of them? Or a carla lily. Let's take them out. Is that too big? Yeah, a little bit big. I've got some smaller ones here. I think I've put quite a big one on one of them. Can't see it now. I think we'll take two of these. Uh, I've got the snippers here. That's three penny. Can't count. Oh, there we go. That pale pink one's nice as well. Wait, wait, if I do it like that, and then coming down a bit, like that, that's quite nice, it's quite like that. Right, that's what I've decided on. And you can always change your mind. It's, it's only scraps and whatever you're using, and a lot of times you can remove them you're not happy with it there I'll save it for another project even so that's that there and I want some pink gems I did want to use this one up that one's quite nice there but what should I put here what should I put there another rose no another rose uh, look at that tiny one I've done <laughs> Yeah, it was more more blue that one and a bit of turquoise. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. We're going pink. I've got some pink gems here. Oh, is that a lovely big pink gem there? Should we go big? Or should we go small? Oh, it's not really pink that one. Oh, let me get these down. That's nice. Bit orangey that one. 
And we got this type of thing. Well, that's nice, isn't it? That's very pretty. One of them little clusters. I've not made that cluster. It was, uh, I think it was gifted to me actually some time ago. So that looks nice there. I'm quite happy with that there. So this is the type of thing I might have to add um, E6000 to. Uh, just to secure them a bit better. Yeah, so I quite like that. It's coming along. Get rid of the glue. Now, what am I going to do there? I've got, a, I've got a nice little bit of froth here. Uh, you know, that, um, what do you call it? Very fine netting, lacy, lacy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go in there. Don't need much glue for that. Just build it up around like that. Might have another piece of that or a bit different colour. That's green. Green would look nice for blue as well. But we're not going to use it. We're going to use this instead. Might need bigger scissors, so I don't. I just want it to look like it's um, gathered up and just put on the side like that. Yeah, it's coming together. At first, you look at it and you think, What are you doing? and then fiddle about and it seems to come together then right we're going to put that one in there like that I can get hold of it I'm sorry my fingers are in the way aren't they there you see I do have a proper poke I think <laughs> The hot thing, there it is. Uh, there. I don't burn myself though much, as much as I used to. I think um, somebody else said it once. Your uh, your skin, your fingers just get uh, hardened up to it when you first start um, using hot glue. It hurts. It really does hurt. Right, I've still got this flower I'm playing about with, but we've got a couple of flowers going on, so I think it's time for um, a jewel, a nice jewel. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's nice as well. This is in my little shell box, and I've got some um, false trees. I think they're like cherry trees, but a piece of that would look nice. Uh, it's from modelling into and do modelling uh, things, miniatures and what have you. But I think that would look lovely, that up there. Or down there. Yeah, I think it looks nice down there. So I hope you're all having a lovely day. And I'm in Europe and not too near all them horrible fires. Germany suffering with um, shortage of power. We're going to turn lots of things off. Like air conditioner, trying to conserve it for the winter, or down to the wall, of course. So that's coming on nice. Yes, I definitely need a now a nice. Um, that was another one I did. I keep hanging these on the table. I didn't do much to that, as you can imagine, because that was like like that. So, uh, oh, here's a big pink one, but it's not round, it's, um, it's square. Let's see, what's the, is there anything back there that I've missed? Let's see what that one looks like. Hmm, just needs building up, I think. I might have that. And there's a sweet little pearl there, like. Like, um, it is a bit lilac-y, but I like it. 
So I think I'm going to put that in just as a bit of a slight contrast, but I like that one. And I put it at the side because um, I don't really see the hole. So yeah, that's quite nice like that. Just a tiny tinge of a different colour. Um, yeah, I could do a finding. Uh, maybe it is going to be that one, but I have to build it up. Now, I like that shape, but I don't like that colour for this project. Oh, this is quite nice. Like a teardrop, isn't it? Let's see. Let's see what else I've got. I've got a couple of these little round, roundy ones. I've not been in this for such a long time. Um... I've not done this so I've been embroidering as you know doing paperwork but I've not done um, any shell work for a long time yeah it needs something to um, raise it up so what did I see there it's like that I don't want to use that to raise it up well so we've got a shell of some kind there with me, I'll be there. Oh, and there's a pearl that will raise it up a bit, won't it? So, if I stick that pearl and that gold thing in, I'll stick that gold thing in first, and that would just raise, raise it up a bit, hopefully. It's not raised enough there, so we'll stick a pearl on it. Just a little flat back pearl. That just gives that a bit of height and looks pretty anyway. So we're going to stick that on there. No, I'm not going to. Let's see this one. That's pink, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that down there actually. The more you fiddle, the more you think, oh, no, no, I'm going to put that round there now. Uh, it's quite a nice little uh, project to do, though. But they do take time and a lot of fiddling. I just want to hide that, them brown uh, branches a bit. So I'm going to, am I going to put that there or am I going to put a shiny? Where's the shiny? No, I don't like that. I think we'll have a flat back pearl again there. Uh, then. How are we doing for time? 18. All right. So it's quite a cluster of pearls now, isn't there, around there? So we need, uh, need something else there. Let's see what we've got. Now that's quite nice. This is just a little bit of pink rose trim, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So, and that way I'm adding just a little touch of green as well. Just there. Which I think it was needed. Yeah, I'm not, I, that's not bad at all now. I'm quite happy with that. I think it needs... A little shell or uh, yeah, we've not used any shells on this one. I've got some very nice tiny, tiny, tiny shells here. And I've got some brownish ones uh, here. Um, oh, I think that's too orangey. That thing. Right, let's put a couple of shells around just. Just in the spaces, I quite like that one. It's another little colour, isn't it? So we'll put that one there. And then I'll show you why I've done them and what they're going to be used for. We need one down there. I don't know if I can get me without making a big mess. Uh, this one. Now, if 
you go like that there, and I might be able to pop in that white one. Let's see, where's that white one, this one? Just pop that in there like that. There you go, looking quite full now. Um, not sure about that one now. I can take that off and I'm going to put something else there. Uh, then. A bit of sh a bit of glitzy. It's a bit big maybe. Let's see what I've got in this one. A nice little They are nice as well to add. These are from a chain. Um, there you go, there you go. Oh, wrong colour. Wouldn't you know it? Yeah, this is smaller, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's smaller. I think I'm going to put that one there. I don't know if it's... Yeah, it's just slightly smaller, I think, than the one I had. So... I'll pop that one there. So that gives you an idea of how I go about filling my little shelves. Okay, and what I'm doing is, I will show you. I got these from um, the candle holders from a charity shop. I can't remember when, they must probably sat on my shelf for three years or more. I did start doing them and uh, and then I stopped. So what I'm going to do, you see, you see how it's bebbled in? What I do is I stick that like that. So, but I do think I should use my E6000, but that's what I'll be doing. And then along the top, I've got these type of shells, these type of shells which look quite effective. This one's a bit bigger than on there, just to finish it off and, um, you know, to have something up here. I didn't want to put flowers again. So I'm putting roses and I'll show you one of them that's finished. And this is one that I finished. Okay, let's move that out of the way so you can see. So, as I say, this was done quite a while ago and nothing's fell apart and it gives me a chance to look at it good, make sure everything's stuck and um, or if I want to add on another shell or something like that. As I say, you know, you can, um, I don't know why I've stuck that one that way. I'm not sure why, but little butterfly on that one. And then as I say, on the top, I've put these Hey, what they, I can't remember the name of these shells, it's gone. So, but I think when when you've got the a candle in it, I, I bought these candles, where have they gone? Some pink ones, um, home base or somewhere like that. I think it's home base, home bargains or somewhere like that. Uh, which I think will look, will look okay in it. I will have to, um, stick them down with something in there but uh, yeah or get a shorter candle you know what I mean and have them so I think they make nice prezzies for somebody who likes the shells and a bit of shabby chicy even so I just thought I'd come on and show you um, another that one's broke I'm going to change that one um, you know, just something else that I do. So, <laughs> you know, I know there's one lady who's been sending, sent me an entry. Um, I can't remember who it was. Uh, on the back it says she doesn't like anything, seashells or shells, seaside. And I thought, I must remember that. So I'm very sorry if you're watching and I've done something seashells, seashells on the seashore. But um, yeah, they're fun to do. And um, because these can be used, this one's loose as well, um, on different different projects. Um, 
boxes or things like that even on the front of a book or something so yeah i just thought you'd like to see how i go about doing that so what time it's gone 12 now so i'm going to go downstairs see what art's up to and see what we're having for um see what we're going to have for lunch so thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon stay safe stay cool in england bye for now